about does your bag have holes? <laughs> AI 1, 4 through 11. Why are you living in luxurious houses while my house lies in ruins? This is what the Lord of Heaven, Heaven's army says. Look at what's happening to you. You have planted much, but harvest little. You eat, but you are not satisfied. You drink, but you are still thirsty. You put on clothes, but cannot warm. The wages disappear as though you were putting them in pockets filled with holes. This is what the Lord of Heaven Heaven's army says, look at what's happening to you. Now go up into the hills, bring down, bring down timber, and rebuild my house. Then I will take pleasure in it and be honored, says the Lord. You hope for, for rich harvest, but, but they were poor. And when you brought your harvest home, you blew it. You blew it away. I blew it away. Why? Because my house lies in ruins, says the Lord of heaven, heaven's armies, while all of you are busy building your own fine home houses. It's because of you that the heavens withhold the dew and the earth produces no crops. I have called for a drought on your fields and hills, a drought to wither the grain and grapes and olive trees and all other crops, a drought to starve you and your livestock and to ruin everything you have worked so hard to get. They, this was, uh, they were supposed to be, um, rebuilding the, the temple, it was in ruins, but they were building their own houses. They were building their own houses while the temple needed repairs. We can make the same mistakes today when we don't put God first in our giving. We can do this by paying our rent, electric bills, buying food and credit cards first, paying all our stuff first. When we give, when we give God 10%, He will bless our 90%. What happens in your hearts affects every other part of your life. Because the people had pushed God out of the, the center of their life, they were now suffering in every area they had. Their fields would not produce, their labor, there's no profit, fruitless toil, fleeting riches, and uns, unsatisfied hunger. Once they obeyed, at the end of the story, once they obeyed, the blessings came. Amen. So we always have to put God first, even though it it looks like we may not have nothing left over, but he will always supply. Amen. I can attest to that. Amen. <laughs> always.